there's a new Radio Master product out here. What is it? The Pocket. Did you ever want to go take your drone for a quick flight and not want to bring all of this? What if you don't want to bring mountains and backpacks worth of stuff? What if you wanted a controller that can fit inside a jacket pocket? That's where this comes into play, the Radio Master Pocket. Look how tiny this thing is, and this is really gonna take you places that you haven't been able to go before. It even has slots for the sticks to fit, so when you fold this antenna down, it is so tiny, it can fit just about anywhere. Now, don't be mistaken, unless you're wearing Shaq's pants, you're not gonna fit these into a jeans pocket, but if you do have a rather large jacket pocket, you could just be like, Hey, look at here, look at here. Yo, you wanna buy some toothbrushes, man? This is some real fly personal hygiene equipment I got here, man. And I got a hell of a hair dry over here too, check it out. The most significant thing about this though isn't actually the size, it's the price. Because now you can send someone to try out FPV drone flying for a controller that costs only $55. And it does have USB-C connection so that you can hook it up to a computer and practice learning to fly on simulator. Everyone crashes about 500 times learning to fly a drone, but instead of breaking real world drones, you can do all of those crashes virtually and learn with one of these. The nice thing about this compared to its other small con gamer controller style controller, the Zoro, which costs about twice as much, is that the Pocket uses actual full size 18650 cell. You can get these Radio Master branded ones, which are 2500 milliamp hours a piece, and it uses two of them with the really tiny screen on here. You're gonna get battery life that lasts quite a long time. Now, just like the clear box that came out, you're gonna be able to buy colored shells for this one and swap to whatever color you would like after the fact. So there is a lot of customization available for this, and you can see it has the wires hooked up that are gonna go to the board for or your 18650 cells built into the case itself. Links in the description below it has the same four button layouts that you're very familiar with Edge TX on here. I really do like this flip up antenna. It's a 2.4 gigahertz antenna for the Express LRS system that is built into here. Here's the slot where your sticks go when you wanna pack this up and make it even more pocketable. You just take it out and it screws in a whole lot like some of those DJI controllers. Now you can see there's not a ton of stick throw. If you're a thumber, this is gonna be really, really feeling good. It has a nice size grip that fits into your palm just absolutely perfectly. Now these switches, these are two position up here. They're a little squishy. These front ones are actually better than the ones on the boxer. This rear one though is really spongy. I don't like it, it's a momentary. So what I would probably use for mode and arm would be these three position switches. I would probably have arm here or here, depending on if you like left or right. If you're flying like this, you can really rest your fingers on there. You always wanna be able to disarm at a moment's notice. In order to get to those 18650 cells, all you do is just peel off this grip. The 18650 cell is right underneath your USB charge port on the bottom, along with the SD card that comes with it already filled out. And then you have your USB port on the top, which is your communication port that's what you're going to plug in in order to simulate i really do like how they've thought about that the bottom for charging the top for playing because you want the cord going away from you so it's not interfering with you while you're flying these are tiny little stick ins so you're probably going to only buy replacement sticks directly from radio master for that also comes with this tiny little carrying pouch right here it's sort of similar to what you get when you buy a bottle of crown royal but if you get this from radio master you're going to be able to wake up without that annoying headache that you get if you finish off a whole bottle of that now we have seen budget controllers like this that cost slightly less but the thing about those a lot of them like the beta fpv ones didn't have a screen meaning you really couldn't configure your models and set up things making it a lot more harder on the user this has the same button layout the same navigation wheel on here that you can set up express lrs which is already built in if you want to use any other radio protocol there is a mini module bay on the back for you to attach as well. Now that 
solid price point is for the 4-in-1 CC2250 module. I do suggest you spend an extra 10 bucks and get the Express LRS version. In 2023, you don't need all those other protocols as almost every tiny bind and fly drone, which is what you're gonna wanna start on, like this Mobula 6, and the current version of this comes with Express LRS protocol installed. So all you gotta do is put your bind phrase on here, connect this to Wi-Fi, put your bind phrase on here, and then boom, they're magically bound. No messy pressing buttons like you used to have to do back in the day. Oh, like a caveman. Size wise, this is really nice. Price wise, it's even more significant. Now, if you take it apart, you can see the tiny little gimbals at play here. A very custom Rated Master board for the pocket. And it's just nice and neat. You can tell this is the Express LRS built in module right here with a couple of little buttons on there. I wonder what those do. You don't really have access to them from inside. And you can see this antenna going from that little module up to this little foldable thing right here. I also have the same list of really cool games that you have on the boxer. The classic Tetris and Snake. Extras. If you can't fly FPV, you can still use this as a portable little game machine or a connection to a simulator like we said. So if you want to get into flying drones or you want to recommend somebody, this is now the budget entry price at only 65 bucks for Express LRS or 55 bucks if you just want to use this as a learning tool and upgrade later. I really think that Radio Master has you covered now. 60, 55 bucks for this. If you want to get the full size module bay TX12, that uses the mid size gimbal. These are smaller gimbals. They are not compatible with the mini AGO1s. So you're not going to be able to upgrade these to the metal CNC versions. So keep that in mind if this is your long term plan. But I think for other people, this is going to be a spare radio. This is going to be a beginner's first radio. It's going to be if you want to get your nephew or your cousin or your brother or your boss into FPV and get them on that road of crippling financial ruin, spending every last dollar and moment that they have flying drones, then this is the gateway drug. This is the entry point. This is what's going to get you started. It goes in your pocket. If you are jealous of the Game Boy Pocket that a friend of yours had, or if you are jealous of your sister or your cousin for getting to play with Poly Pocket, now you can play with the Radio Master Pocket. Quite handsome indeed.